and welcome to my Premier League Team of the Week. If you are new around here, I do this every single week. On a Tuesday, I do my Team of the Week. Um, I watch every single game and, and give my opinion on, on who I think deserves to be in this Team of the Week. A really, really difficult one this time. So many players um, in the forward positions did so well. The likes of Richarlison, Anderson, Sterling, Sane, Morata, Aguero... Loads of players did really, really, really well, and it was really tough this week. But this is what I have gone with. So in goal, we have Hugo Lloris. Now, Hugo Lloris, he's had a little bit of a interesting time. Well, we'll leave it at an interesting time. Um, since the whole drink-driving thing, he's really, really struggled in goal for Spurs, having getting sent off against PSV, having a terrible, terrible time against Barcelona. But against Wolves, despite having two goals conceded, obviously both were penalties, he made some really, really vital saves. Saves that actually ended up them winning the game. A really, really, really good display by Lloris. He kept solid, he kept tight. And if it wasn't for him, they may have even gone on to lose the game. So a very, 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 very good performance by Hugo Lloris. Uh, just a quick note, I've changed, uh, I don't know if you've noticed, I've changed from the players' pictures to their names. I really, really prefer this setup, um, but feel free to uh, drop what you, you think down below in the comments. I personally prefer it, but tell me. Uh, right back, we have Seamus Coleman. Seamus Coleman scored a wonder goal against Everton, uh, for Everton, sorry, against Brighton in their 3-1 win with Rear Charleston scoring those other two goals. A very, very good performance by Seamus Coleman. Really, really solid going uh, back as well as being a very, very big threat going forward. After a massive, massive injury, he's come back. And in recent weeks, he's been very, very impressive. Um, so he is at right back. Centre-backs, we have Wes Morgan and Virgil van Dijk. Wes Morgan, he captain the Leicester City side in probably the hardest game he'll ever have to play in. Very, very solid performance by him. He kept the Cardiff attack at bay. Very, very good, good, solid display by him. He struggled this season. He's been sent off twice already for Leicester. But today, um, on Saturday even, he, he was absolutely exceptional. So other centre-back was Virgil van Dijk. Virgil van Dijk was really, really, really unlucky not to score here. Um, very, very good performance by him. Solid as always. He is a mountain at the back. He is a monster uh, in the back line. And he has brought on Joe Gomez so, so, so well uh, in the last few months. He's been a very, very good player. And he is the reason why Liverpool looks so solid at the back. Um, he, he, he was also a threat going forward, hitting the, uh, hitting the post and then having a couple of good chances as well. A left back, we have Ben Chilwell, a player that I absolutely adore and I can't wait to see more of him in an England shirt. Uh, it's likely that he will get called up this week for the England internationals in November. I really, really like him and he was also very, very good keeping a clean sheet, having a very good defensive display, as well as offering a lot going forward, having the assist that won the game for Leicester against Cardiff with Damari Gray scoring the only goal of the game there. We have three midfielders. The first is Lucas Torreira. He has been absolutely amazing for Arsenal. He is so, so, so terrier-like in the middle. He will get involved. He'll win the ball back constantly. Something that they have been missing probably since Vieira left, um, which he left him ages ago. Ages ago. And they've never really replaced him. They've had several people go at it. Xhaka, Coquelin, um, you know, maybe Jabel or Silva. He did very very well but certainly since them two left they've not been at it defensive midfield until now he was absolutely brilliant and very 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 key in that one all draw that they got at the Emirates Stadium next we have Ki Sung Young I've not seen many people put their um put this lad in the team of the week but for me I, I feel like he was the game winner against Watford for Newcastle he made some really really good runs he was causing lots of problems he set up the goal uh, a great free kick that was headed on by Ayosi Perez. And guess who won the free kick? Kison Young. Very, very good signing. Free transfer. And he looked very, very good today. And I was very, very, very impressed by him. Finally, the last central midfielder is, of course, the magician, David Silva. David Silva, I think he had two assists. Uh, he was involved in everything. He was absolutely exceptional. As always, he gets better with time. And considering everything that's gone on in the past 12 months with him, 
what a player, a leader and an absolutely exceptional player. Somebody that will look back and think, God, he was good. Like, like we're lucky to see him. Uh, three um, forwards, one on each wing and then one central striker. On the left wing, really, really struggled with this. Like I say, with Charleston, Sane were two players that did miss out. Uh, but left wing went with Felipe Anderson. Scored twice, but not only did he score twice, this is what pipped him um, was he really, really caused a lot of problems for for Burnley. He made assist. I think he got he was ass assisted one of the goals as well. But not only that, he was constantly threatening. He could have had three or four. He had a chance cleared off the line. He hit the bar. Very, very good performance. Probably one of the best performances we've seen over the season. But not the best performance of the week. That goes to Raheem Sterling. Two goals for Raheem Sterling. Two assists as well. Unselfishly right at the end. Setting up Sane to score the sixth goal. He's been rumoured that he signed a new contract. And Manchester City will be absolutely delighted. Four goals he was involved with. He, he, he also was involved with the other two goals. He didn't obviously not got an assist or a goal. Um, but really, really exceptional. And for me, he is player of the week. Finally, striker, we have Alvaro Morata. Two goals for the Spaniard. He's found life in England very, very difficult. Over in London, he's struggled. The only time he scored more than two goals, uh, two or more goals, was against Stoke last season where he scored a hat-trick. But since then, he's only ever scored one. Until uh, on Sunday when he scored twice against Crystal Palace. Two nice finishes. He should have had a hat-trick. But it's good to see him in form. He had loads of chances. And that is very, very good. Man, uh, Chelsea have some sort of issue uh, with their central striker. They're not really sure who, who's better, Morata or Giroud. But this is a great, great chance for Giroud, uh, for Morata sorry, to, to really, really bed down his position. He can do it. He did very well at Juventus. He had a great scoring record at Madrid. And now he needs to bring that to Stamford Bridge. So that is my team, Hugo Lloris, Seamus Coleman, Virgil van Dijk, Wes Morgan, Ben Chilwell, that is the defence. In midfield we have Keyson Young, David Silva, Lucas Torreira and then up front we have, on the left wing we have Felipe Anderson, right wing we have Raheem Sterling and through the middle we have Alvaro Morata. Like I say, some really, really good performances from Richarlison, from Sane, from Alexis Sanchez had a really, really good game as well. But it was really, really tough. And I hope you understand if your player did not get in uh, from your team. It was really, really tough to uh, to make a decision. But that's the team I've gone with. Lloris, Coleman, Van Dyke, Morgan, Chilwell, uh, Keeg, Silva, Torreira, Anderson, Sterling and Morata. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new and you've never seen me before. I'm Mike. <laughs> uh, thanks so much for watching. My name is Mike and I will see you soon.